this time we will have the exponential growth and decay. This is another application of differential equation. Now, in our computation for problems involving exponential growth and decay, we will basically use this formula wherein we have here the rate of change for the number of bacteria. Let's say n is the number of bacteria with respect to time, that is dt. Okay, so the derivative of n with respect to time. This is the number of bacteria per unit time, which is equivalent to k times n, the number of bacteria. Okay, wherein again, k is our proportionality constant. Okay, now by applying the, this is actually, this is our formula for solving problems involving exponential growth and decay. Now, to solve this one, of course, we have to apply uh, integral to both sides so that we have here our integral. I will write here, before we answer this example, I will show first to you how we solve this general formula for exponential growth and decay. So, we have here uh, d, okay, dn over dt, which is equivalent to k times n. Okay? By separation of variable, you have here dn. Okay? We apply separation of variable over n, which is equivalent to k dt. And then we apply both sides with integration so that dn over n, that is ln of n, which is equivalent to uh, k t plus c. Okay, so k t plus c. This ln will be transferred to the other side. So we have here n equals e raised to k t plus c. Of course, we have here plus. So, by this part, we have here e raised to k t plus c. Okay? So, that is equivalent to a raised to k t and then e raised to c. This part, e raised to c, we can rewrite this one as, let's say, E, K, T. This part, we will make use of C, let's say C sub 1, because these are constant. E is Euler's number, which is equivalent to 2.718, etc. And then we have here C, constant. So, this E and C are constant. So, we will write, instead of writing E, C, E raised to C, we'll write C sub 1, or simply right here as C, E, K, T, okay? So, for this part, we will have here N, which is equivalent to E or C, I will write here C, and then we have here E raised to K, T, okay? So, we will be using this formula, okay? So, by the way, I will erase this one first. This is uh, n, of, uh, n of t, the number of bacteria at certain time. So, okay. The number of bacteria at certain time equals C, E raised to K, T. Okay. So, we will be using this formula. Now, I will erase this part. Okay, because this is just an explanation of how we find the value of C here. Okay, now this time we will uh, use this formula for our solution to this problem. Okay, initially a culture has M sub O number of bacteria at T equals 1 R. 
the number of bacteria is measured to be 3 over 2 of N sub O. If the rate of growth is measured to be proportional to the number of bacteria present, determine the time necessary for the number of bacteria to triple. In other words, the number of bacteria has an initial number, that is N sub O, and at 1 hour, the na its number is increasing 3 over 2 times its initial number. And then, we're going to find the time necessary for the number of bacteria to triple. Okay, This 3 over 2, that is 1.5. Okay, 1.5 times the number of bacteria. And then, at what time when the number of bacteria is tripled? Okay, so this time, we will now substitute all this value to our equation here. So, uh, at time t, okay, at time, so let's say at t, is equivalent to zero because this is n sub zero then our n here by using this formula we have here our n is equivalent to c uh, c e and then we have here k and then we will substitute the value of t as zero okay so, e raised to 0 is equivalent to 1. 0 times k equals 0. So, e raised to 0 equals 1 times c. Then, that is equivalent to c. In other words, we have here our n is equivalent to c. So, we already define the value of c as n. Okay? So, take note, c is equal to n. Or this n... This is our initial, so we will make use of n sub o. Okay, n sub o. So, c here is equivalent to n sub o. Now, at t is equivalent to 1. So, it is said here, at t equals 1 r. Okay, so we will write here, at t is equivalent to 1 r. Now, the number of bacteria is measured to be 3 over 2. Okay, so we have here 3 over 2 times n sub o. Okay, so this is 3 over 2 n sub o. We have here our n. And then c, of course, we have the value of c, which is already n sub o. So we have here n sub o. Okay, we have here. And then e, of course, we will write e. Okay, e. And then... We have the value of k, which is unknown, no? Unknown. I sorry. Okay, so I will erase this one first. Okay, uh, n sub o e raised to k. The value of t is equivalent to 1. We will substitute the value of t as, as 1. So 1 times k, that is equivalent to k. Okay, so we will cancel n sub o, n sub o. The result here, when we cancel n sub o, n sub o, we have uh, 3 over 2 equals e raised to k. And then, to find the value of k, we will apply ln to both sides. Applying the, the natural logarithm to both sides, we have here ln of 3 over 2 equals ln of e raised to k. Take note, k here will be transferred here. So, k ln of e. ln of e equals 1. So, k equals this value. So, uh, we have ln of 3 over 2 is equal to k. Okay? Take note, this part we have here, ln of e raised to k can be rewrite as k times ln of e. However, ln of e is equivalent to 1. So, 1 times k, that is equivalent to k. That is the result of this part. Or another way of writing this one, of course, we have this value. So, we have here k or k for this part. 
that is equivalent to if we use our calculator ln of 3 over 2 that is equivalent to uh, using calculator 0 0.4055 so if you have noticed we have now the value of k going back to this one we have the value of c we have the value of k okay now we only have n and t okay this time if the rate of growth is measured to be proportional to the number of bacteria present determine the time necessary for the number of bacteria to triple okay to triple the number of bacteria of course that is three times n sub o so going back to this equation our uh, number of bacteria is triple so we have here three times n sub o which is equivalent to c Take note, our C is N sub O. And then E raised to KT. Our K equals 0 0.455. 0 0.4055. That is the value of K. And then T, which is unknown. Notice this one, N sub O, can be cancelled. So that the remaining value here is 3 is equivalent to E raised to 0 0.4055 T. Okay, so this part, I will erase that part. So, we have, okay, when we solve the value of T, we will apply LN to both sides. So, we have here, LN of 3 is equivalent to LN of E raised to uh, 0 0.4055 T. So this part, uh, LN3 is equivalent to the equivalent here. We have 0 0.4055 T. We will cancel LN E. Okay? Like this part. What we did for this part, of course, we will do also to this part. So that when we find the value of T here, we have LN of 3 divided by 0 0.4055. That is our T. Now, using your calculator, the value of T equals 2.7 hours. That is our T. In other words, at a time of 2.7 hours the number of bacteria becomes tripled okay initially the number of bacteria is n sub o after one hour its number is 3 over 2 times the n sub o after three hours its a uh, total number of bacteria i mean after 2.7 hours the number of bacteria three points okay so this is our final answer 2.7 hours